Hi, my name is Lou Ann Welsh and I'm the director of a new modern event center called Lex 530 located in Elkhart, Indiana. I have over 20 years experience planning parties, working with brides, catering, and even teaching hospitality classes at our local culinary school. On Weddings with Lou Ann, I would like to share my experiences and expertise with you to help you plan your wedding day. We have discussed in the past how much your wedding guests will appreciate having a generous bar. But what are the different ways you can purchase bar services for your guests? This will depend on your event venue and how they manage their bar services. But here are some general guidelines. There are several common ways to pay for your bar. Open bar, consumption bar, and a cash bar. In addition, these can be combined to tailor your bar to your reception needs. If you remember, an open bar means you pay for your guests to drink for a set period of time. A consumption bar means the bartending staff keeps track of what they serve for the designated time. You then pay for what was used. Cash bar means that your guests pay for what they drink. The more options you provide at the bar, the more expensive your bar will be. Narrowing the options down will help cut costs. Many venues have done this for you by offering different open bar packages. Narrowing options has also given rise to the trend where couples offer a signature drink and a few other popular beers and wine. Another way of controlling costs is to offer just beer and wine, not liquor. Still another option is to arrange a consumption bar with a set dollar amount so that you know exactly what you will spend. For instance, let's say you want to spend no more than $2,500 on your bar. A reputable bartending service can give you a very accurate estimate on how much your group will consume during your reception. You can then arrange for your alcohol provider to keep you informed throughout the evening and when you hit $2,500, the bar can go cash. Or you can buy a certain number of bottles and serve those until they're gone. Work with your bar provider. They are professionals and they have good advice for getting you the most bang for your buck. Some people are often surprised that the bar provider will want them to pay the estimate of an open or consumption bar before the party. That is common industry-wide. Security is also common when providing alcohol. Most venues will arrange security for you, but you will pay. And last, providing a bar at a venue is a lot more expensive than having a keg at your house. But hiring a professional is worth it. It is more expensive at a venue because you must pay for taxes, for insurance, for the bartenders, and of course, the bar provider wants to make a profit. When you hire a professional bar provider, they are licensed and they are assuming the liability for responsible alcohol service. This helps to ensure that your guests are not overserved, keeping them, the public, and you safer. If you have any questions about bar service or are currently looking for a venue and are interested in Lex 530, please contact me at luann at lex530.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.